So here's a little story time of what I wish I knew before I started selling insurance, part one. I'm going to be doing a five-part series on this, so make sure you watch till the end. So the first thing that I wish I knew before I started selling insurance was that people are, it's a very dog-eat-dog -dog world. Sometimes it's really hard to trust certain people because it's to their advantage and it's to their gain to recruit you. So as you guys may know that the insurance industry, when you recruit somebody, um, they actually go under you and you make a, an override or a spread on them. So whenever I went to these conferences and these events, a lot of the people would want to recruit me and get me under their team and have me start building a team under them so that they could make that override, which honestly is in terms of business wise is great because if you recruit somebody and they recruit other people you're doing it pretty much for free because and it's all profit for you as the upline and so it was really hard for me to trust anybody and so when i did trust people i made the mistake of sometimes trusting the wrong people which could could definitely be relatable to a lot of other people so this led me honestly to go to four different companies within my first year because I kept switching and switching, wanting to trust the right people. And sometimes I did it. There were some people, there are some people great that are out there in the industry, but then there's a lot of people that are not good people. And when I say not good people, more just for selfish gain rather than really truly wanting to help other people which I think it's a really tough balance because, yeah, you want to build your business, but it's like, do you um, take advantage or over leverage people and value what they're giving you more than the relationship? So that's really the first thing that I wish I knew before I got in the industry is being careful of who I trusted because that can lead to a lot of different things. That could lead to what leads you need to buy uh, which ultimately led me into debt. And there's just a lot of different things that I, I wish I knew about people before getting in the industry. And it's very little to find good, genuine, honest people because people can inflate numbers just so that they can recruit you saying they do 50, 60, 70,000 a month and truly they're broke. So when you're getting in the industry, be super careful who you trust because not everything is as good as it seems. If you thought this was good, part two is gonna be something you don't wanna miss.